Hey guys, it's Mike back again here with a kettlebell tutorial for you. This one I'm going to do is a shoulder press. So you're going to get up in a clean position first, going through everything that was in the clean video, and get it into this rack position with the handles close together. Then bring your legs in, and this one's going to be a military press first. So what you're going to do is keep everything nice and straight, and just using your shoulders, pushing up. If I do it slowly first time, pushing up and twisting around as well slightly, okay? So at this point, you can have your hands facing forwards, slowly down, but you see how I'm twisted around, so I can get it into that comfortable rack position. If I'm in that position, the difference is, when you go on doing a few reps, giving your chosen weight a kettlebell, you're gonna last a lot, lot longer than holding them out here and put all the weight on your shoulders, okay? Bring them back into that rack position, pushing up, twisting, back to the bottom, twisting every single time. If that gets a little bit hard, you can do what I call the push press, using a little bit of momentum in your legs. Just drop down slightly, push them up like that. Use the legs, push them back up. So that just gives you a little bit more momentum and it's a lot better than holding in this position and trying to keep everything straight. But you start leaning back like that, putting a lot of pressure in your back. If you can do it this way, Keep it nice and straight. If not, use your legs a little bit and give them a little bit of a kick up to use a bit of momentum. You can also use the push press motion to actually increase your weight a little bit. So if you want to go for the next heavier set of kettlebells, use the push press because you can't quite do what I call the military press and keeping everything nice and straight, okay? Have good awareness of your stomach muscles, your bone muscles, so you keep yourself in a nice straight line and they actually help you do exactly that, okay? So that is the military press and the push press using two kettlebells. Obviously, if you want, you can go a single kettlebell doing exactly the same thing, okay? Have a great day, guys, and I'll see you soon.